Hi guys, welcome to my channel, Cardiologist. My name is Talib and I'm a structural engineer. This series of videos are for complete beginners in AutoCAD who have almost no knowledge in this software. Moreover, I'm going to briefly introduce you to other Autodesk software, which I will cover in detail in later videos. I'd like to advise you in the beginning to understand the full function of the various CAD tools available in this software and try to exercise drafting a lot so you become better and faster. If you are interested in these educational tutorials, go ahead and subscribe to my channel and hit that alert button to view my latest. In this series of basic AutoCAD tutorial videos, I would like to start first introducing you to Autodesk website and some of their software which you might be interested to learn more about later on. Then we will explore together AutoCAD user interface, you will learn about navigation tools and selection set, setting units and precision, understanding layers, creating basic 2D drawing using draw and modify tools, understanding object snap modes, polar tracking and dynamic input functions, block creation, dimensioning, then we will do some examples using all the tools you will learn through these videos. And I will show you guys how to plot the drawing to PDF. AutoCAD and many other engineering and drafting software are provided by Autodesk. Their website offers a lot of valuable information about their products and there is a support and learning section if you are interested to expand your knowledge in the field of drafting and engineering. Moreover, Autodesk provides access to more than 100 products available to students, educators and institutions globally by promoting them free educational license. If you are interested to download any of their product with an educational license, visit their website www.autodesk.com. Once the page is loaded, they may ask you whether to stay in the US site or visit other sites. Click on this button to view all available sites to choose from. Click on Menu and choose the Students and Educators. Click on Get Products. Again, if you are a student or an educator, you will be eligible to get one year educational access to Autodesk products. Otherwise, you can download AutoCAD through the link attached in the description below. If you already have an educational access to Autodesk, just click on Sign In. Otherwise, click on Get Started. Then, click on Create Account. Select your country from the menu. Then, choose your educational rule. Whether you are a student, an educator, school IT administrator, or design competition mentor. Then, Choose the institution type, high school or university, and click on Next. Fill in your main info, name, email, password, then click on Create Account. For me, I will just go ahead and sign in with my account. But for you guys signing in for the first time with Autodesk, they will ask you to check your email inbox in order to verify your account. Then Autodesk want to know about your educational institution and how you plan to use their free software. Fill in the name of your educational institution, department or faculty, intent of usage and click on next. Finally, they will ask you to upload a copy of documentation issued by your educational institution such as a transcript or school ID. Then you will be able to download Autodesk products with an educational license. 
So what is AutoCAD? CAD C -A -D, is a shortcut for a computer-aided design software that engineers, architects, construction professionals depend on to make precise 2D and 3D drawings. Autodesk provides also AutoCAD LT, which is a lighter version of AutoCAD with a limited set of features. Although all the basic features are similar in both software, still some advanced features related to 3D tools are not available in the LT version. Apart from that, everything is same. As I told you guys in the beginning, this channel will not just introduce you to AutoCAD. Also, we will be learning about AutoCAD architecture, advanced steel, Revit, and robot structural analysis professional, among other topics, math and structure related. AutoCAD architecture. It's one of the amazing AutoCAD toolsets to speed up architecture design and drafting of any type of building. The same goes for other toolsets available with AutoCAD, such as the mechanical and electrical toolsets. In later videos, I will show you guys how useful these toolsets to really speed up your drawing and building 3D modeling. Advanced Steel It's a 3D modeling software for steel detailing, fabrication, and construction. Revit It's a building information modeling software, BIM, to produce consistent coordinated and complete model pace designs for buildings and infrastructure. Also, it helps a project team to achieve better outcomes working all together. Basic Revit tutorial videos will be provided later on this channel. Robot Structural Analysis Professional This software is mainly for structural engineers, providing them advanced building simulation and analysis capabilities for large complex structures. So when you start AutoCAD for the first time, this is how the interface will look like. It also depends on what version you are using, but it's still hard to notice much a difference in most panels unless you have a version older than 2010. Click on Start Drawing to create a blank drawing file. This is the drawing area where all the objects you draw are located, and this is the cursor. You control it with your mouse to move it around in the drawing area. It's used mainly to make selections and draw objects. Later, we will see together how to change the size and color of your cursor to what's comfortable for you. Inside the drawing area at the top left corner, we can see three control tools to change the view of your drawing and other things. We will see it together now in an example that's attached in the video description below. The view controls. It provides access to standard and custom views. Now we are in the top view. Click on top to see your drawing from different views like bottom, left, right, front, and back. Let's see how this drawing looks like from the back view. These four isometric views are used with the 3D drawing, like the model we have now in this example. Let's choose SW isometric and see how the model looks like from there. SW stands for Southwest. SE means Southeast. NE stands for Northeast. And NW means Northwest. Now let's talk about visual style controls. Here you can control the display of your object edges background, and shadows of 3D solids. Click on 2D wireframe to check out other available visual styles. Let's see how conceptual style looks like. All right, we can check out other styles such as realistic, sketchy, and X-ray. You can even control the setting of your style through Visual Style Manager. Let's try to change the edges color or even hide them. 
Choose X-ray style. Click on Edge setting. In the color tab, change the edges color from white to yellow. You can see in your model that the change will occur instantly. In the Show tab menu, choose None to hide the edges. This little sign here is called Viewport Controls. Right now, you can see just one view for this model. But what if you want to see your drawing from different views at the same time? Then, from Viewport Configuration List, you can select how many views for your drawing you want to see. I would just choose three left. To activate a viewport, simply click with your mouse left button anywhere inside it. Like this. If you select your drawing in one view, it will be selected in the others. The same will happen if you try to modify or draw something in one view, it will show in the others too. This is called View Cube, and you can use it to manipulate and control your drawing view, like that. So you can see your object from different angles. Click on the home button to go back to the original view. The navigation bar. It contains the zooming and panning tools to maneuver around your drawing. Click on pan and move the cursor close to the object. Click and hold your mouse left button to move the object view anywhere in the drawing area. Or you can click and hold your mouse scroll wheel to do the same. This tool provides several zoom options for your drawing. For example, choose zoom window and move the cursor close to the object. Click one time anywhere and move the cursor to opposite side crossing part of your model to make such a window. Then click again to zoom to this part of the model. Let's try another zooming option that extends the model to occupy most of the drawing area. Click again on this little sign and choose Zoom Extends. Most of the zoom options can be done through the mouse scroll wheel. Simply scroll the wheel back and forth to zoom in and out. Double click the scroll wheel to zoom extends your drawing. The Orbit tool allows you to rotate the view of the object in 3D space. Click on it, move the cursor anywhere close to the object, then click and hold your mouse left button and move the cursor around to view any angle of the model. The Command Line Each time a command is started, either by selecting any of the tools from the top here, or by typing the tool shortcut using the keyboard, the command line will provide you what needs to happen next. Click on Customize button in the command line and choose Options. From here, you can change most of the AutoCAD setting. For example, click on Colors to change the background color. By default, AutoCAD background color is black. So, if you click on Restore Classic Colors, the 2D model space will go back to the original color, which is black. If you want to change it to any other color, like white, click again on Colors and choose White from the menu. Then click on Apply and Close. As I told you guys before, you can change the cursor size and color and you can do that through the option menu. Pay attention to the size and color of my cursor before the changes we are about to do now. Go to the option menu again, click on colors tab, click on crosshairs to change the color of the cursor. Let's say blue for example. Apply and close. Increase the size of the crosshairs from 5 to 20. 
Then go to selection tab and increase the box size to what's comfortable for you. Finally click on OK. Notice how the cursor has become after the changes we just made. This bar is called the ribbon and it contains several tabs like the home tab, insert tab, annotate, view and other tabs. Each tab includes multiple panels like draw panel, modify panel, layers and other panels. And these panels will enable you to create, modify and organize your drawing through several commands or tools involved in each one of them. The draw panel tools are used to draw objects such as lines, circles, rectangles and many others. The Modify Panel tools are used to modify your drawing, such as Trim, Mirror, Copy, Offset, Array, and many other tools we will learn through these videos. The Quick Access Toolbar, located at the top of the software, enables you to quickly create a new drawing, save your current drawing, print, undo, and redo, among other tools you can add from this list. The application menu. Also, it enables you to perform basic functions such as creating a new drawing, open and close a drawing, and save files. Additionally, you can export data from other software, print, publish, and access drawing setting through the options button. The status bar. It helps you to make precise drawing. We will be discussing in detail about these tabs later on this series of videos. Model space. It's an endless space where you can draw anything you want. On the other hand, the paper space is where you prepare your sheet size to print specific objects and geometry from your model space in an organized manner. So, in this video, I briefly spoke about some of the Autodesk software I'm planning to teach you guys later on. By now, you should be familiar with AutoCAD user interface and the location of all necessary tools to create and modify 2D drawings. In the upcoming tutorials, we will cover together the remaining of the course contents I showed you guys at the start of this video. Feel free to go through this tutorial again in case it was too fast for you or you couldn't catch up. Of course, you could always stop the video, apply the moves I talked about and play back. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the alert button so you don't miss out on my next great tutorials.